while I'm normally opposed to using puns in videos, this one's pretty good, you gotta admit. Anyhow, my name is Cole McCandless, and after posing a question to the Android Performance Patterns Google Plus community, we realized that it might be beneficial to cover a very useful tool inside of Android Studio. See, one of the biggest problems with fixing performance in your applications is that it's mostly a reactive process. You build an app, ship it to users, and only after they've started complaining about it do you know where the problems are. It seems like it would be tons easier to identify the problems ahead of time rather than having to wait for bad reviews to come in. Now, historically, the Android tool chain provided a tool named Lint, a uh, static code analysis tool which checks your Android project source files for any potential bugs uh, alongside potential optimizations for correctness, security, performance, usability, accessibility, and internationalization. For example, if you're allocating objects inside of the onDraw function, which as we all know can lead to excessive amounts of memory churn, Lint can detect that and spit out a nice warning for you, pinpointing the exact line that the problem occurs at. Simply boot up your favorite command prompt, run some commands, and Lint will do the rest. Well, the good news is that this handy tool by default is now integrated into Android Studio 1.0, and it's useful in a couple of ways. Firstly, anytime you want to kick off a release build, Lint will run a subset of its checks against your compiling code. Secondly, if you want feedback on a more regular basis, you can configure Gradle to run the full suite of Lint tests during any various random builds you may kick off during the day. And thirdly, if having Lint run during your builds isn't really your, your thing, you can kick off manual builds at your discretion. And uh, just for the sake of introductions, let's take a look at that third step for now. To run Lint on your code inside of Android Studio, open up your project and select Analyze Inspect Code from the menu. This will kick off Lint and present a handy suite of results that manifests itself in a window at the bottom of the IDE. This uh, bottom window has two main components. On the left is a hierarchical grouping of various errors, warnings, and potential issues. And when you select one of the issues in that left pane, the right pane will be filled in with details about what that problem means, the line number that causes it, information on the test, and how to potentially fix the problem. If you've noticed by running this tool, there's a flood of tests that Lint checks for. So if you want to control the tsunami of information that Lint can spit out, you can configure what analysis you're interested in by opening File, Other Settings, Default Settings, and then selecting Inspections. This will list all, and I mean all, of the inspection options for Lint. To specifically tune Lint to find performance issues, you can search for the performance keywords. From there, you can click through and get a better sense of what checks are being run, enable them, disable them, and reassign their priority for performance. But even with that search, there's lots of data that's being listed. So here are Colt's personal suggestions on which ones to keep an eye on. Firstly, make sure you set memory allocations within drawing code to throw an error. As we've seen with the memory churn videos, this can quickly cause a problem, and it's worth keeping an eye on in order to avoid issues here in the future. The uh, layout has too many views and layout hierarchy is too deep are good to keep an eye on, although if your users are running uh, modern devices, this may be fine to just leave as a warning. And finally, I like to leave the overdraw check set to a warning. If anything, just to keep an eye on what's changed between builds. But remember, at the end of the day, these are suggestions based upon what the tooling team has seen as common problems. Your code may get flagged for a particular issue, but if it's not actually eating into your frame rate, don't actually worry about it. So keep that in mind before you run off into the weeds and start refactoring things. Now, if you run this tool and end up with a flood of performance issues, then make sure you check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns content for tips and tricks on how to address these issues. And of course, don't hesitate to join our Google Plus community to get more information on tips and tricks from people that are in the trenches. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, Perf matters.